I decided to make an all-mechanical back scratcher and fan, Rube Goldberg style, powered by an exercise bike. After ruining a few shirts, I finally got that sorted out. But I was always thirsty when I pedaled, so I added a contraption that gave me a drink, provided I pedaled fast enough for a long enough time. It then occurred to me I ought to get a cookie if I just pedaled long enough. Many broken cookies and a few pounds later that was finally taken care of. I finally added a dog teasing a cat with a mouse while lunging for a moving biscuit. This has got to be the wackiest thing I have ever built. Nevertheless, I will describe how it all works. For the back scratcher, an extra chain from the pedal drives a cog which moves a lead screw up and down through a fixed nut to provide rotary as well as vertical scratching. The cog also moves the yellow fan back and forth. For the drink dispenser, I use a second chain to drive this old hand drill which rotates a flyball governor. This lets me get my drink if I pedal fast enough for a long enough time. As the rotating weights of the flyball governor fly out, their linkage pushes a friction disc into contact with the underside of a turntable. A lead screw attached to the turns table makes the captured nut move upwards. If I slow down, the friction disc loses contact. The turntable reverses direction. When the nut finally gets to the top of the lead screw, the thin rod attached to the nut pushes up against the handle of a flow valve, opening it and allowing fluid to fill the mug. When the mug is full, it falls forward, pulling the flow valve shut, and I can finally get my well-earned drink. Now I want to get my cookie by pedaling enough cycles. It doesn't have to be fast. Cookies on a ramp are released one at a time by this pivoting gate mechanism attached to a vertical shaft. And they roll down until they are stopped by a movable barrier. Instead of my hand, an expanding balloon slowly pushes a horizontal rod connected to the vertical shaft, causing it to rotate the pivoting gate which finally releases the cookie. A bicycle pump attached to the handle of the hand drill inflates the balloon as I pedal. The balloon is connected to an exhaust valve that is pushed shut three quarters of the time by a three quarter round controlled disc. A multitude of belts, driven by the old hand drill, slowly rotates the control disc. When the open part of the disc moves opposite the exhaust valve, the valve opens, deflating the balloon, which moves the barrier, and the cookie falls down onto a lower turntable, driven by yet more belts from the old hand drill. My cookie at last. Or I can put it back on the belt and wait for another cookie to come around.